I still want to lose like those last 10 pounds. And when I do try to focus on it too much and then maybe I I restrict myself too much, that's when the binge eating will kick in again. And like I've tried, like I'll get into these modes where I just like mindlessly eat and like I'll, I've, I've tried to do the push the food tapping and some other tapping, just tapping on like the emotions. I think it's mostly the inner critic saying, well, you're not going to get your goal weight if you're going to eat like this, and oh my God, you just ruined it, and now you're going to be fat, and then it just, leads, you know, just bows down. And I'll do tapping, and I'll be good for like 20 minutes or an hour after the tapping, but then it'll just like kick back in, and I'll start the mindless eating again. So I don't know if it's just like learning to deal with that inner critic and like letting all those negative thoughts go, or what would you, like, what's your recommendation on that? Negative thoughts always come from a a negative experience. So it sounds strange, but when we, when we have, when we go through a life where we have this backlog of negative experiences that happen, um, that's usually what will cause our, you know, our, our inner critic. Um, Once we make peace with a lot of things from our past, there isn't a whole lot of um, judgment that that happens anymore. Um, so when you're doing the echo tapping, are you actually going back in time and healing the little child, or is it not working very well for you? Um, I've done it a few times, and I feel like I always go back to just like a little girl, and she's just kind of playing, and you know, just feeling kind of lonely, and I'll comfort her. There's nothing like too dramatic that like I I can figure out where it's coming from exactly. It's almost mm-hmm. kind of like just the same kind of thing. But um okay. So when you have a reoccurring thing that keeps popping up in echo tapping, that actually means that there's a bigger issue there that needs to be addressed mm-hmm. in a different way. You probably need to do like a tell the story technique on whatever the loneliness was that you grew up with as a child, like I don't know if maybe subconsciously you felt like it was your parents' fault or you blamed someone or, you know, whatever, whatever the story is about that, I would just, I would maybe have like one or two tapping sessions with one of your buddies from the program and just see if you can just do some tapping around whatever that is and then see if the next time you want to mindlessly eat, see if you do the push the food away, you, you'll probably come up with something different Um because you'll you'll you will have resolved that period. Usually, when something comes up over and over again, it just means that there's something there that that you can't get to on your own, and that you need somebody to help with. As far as the inner critic goes, I would maybe do like voice the inner critic. You know, do some things out loud. You know, say whatever it is that that she's saying out loud. And remember the inner critic technique that we did, where you write down the positive, the exact opposite. Yeah. I would do that a few times and just tap tap through that. You have to kind of do it a little bit, you know, you have to do it a little bit often in the beginning, but then if you do it, you know, five or six times, you'll notice a big shift in your inner critic's voice. So I would just commit to doing it like every time you've got an inner critic, you know, thing happen, just commit to doing it every time for like the next week or something. And then take a break and just see, you know, what's different. <laughs> 